sometime. They are born on a gloomy night in a faraway magical land called England. Ah, a giant. Aw, a baby. His parents dead. But he lives. He is the boy who lives. He has a scar on his forehead shaped like, you know. You get it? You're familiar with this boy? Well, forget about him. Okay. This story is not about him. Ah, uh, another orphan. His parents, also dead, killed in a freak chocolate frog accident. Please, don't ask. This boy is whisked away to live with his uncle in the even more magical land of Cattle Oak Springs, New Mexico. Yeah! Oh no! Where the boy grows up. And up until a few weeks ago, this now 11-year-old boy had only the regular problems of a child in 1991. Oh, man. Um, Uncle Dave, our bird flew into our living room and dropped a piece of paper that says, I'm a wizard and I need to go to school in England? What kind of bird? An owl, I think. Oh, my God! I forgot to tell you, you're a wizard. Also, wizards exist, and you are one, just like your British parents. Also, your parents were British. Wow, we really got to talk more. Come on, I'll drive to the airport. And before he knew it, after a confusing train station experience, Wayne found himself at the gates of a certain school of female magic and male magic where he would spend the next seven years. Tonight, we will be taking an incredibly in-depth look at those seven years over the next five hours, split into two parts. What? 90-ish minutes? Oh, <clears throat> tonight, we will be taking a look at those seven years. Seven years that were in one word, eventful. It begins as these stories tend to begin with a sorting. Finnegan, Seamus? Grave. Goldstein, Anthony? Smart. It, well, it just says Goyle? from the magic talking hat to sort me. Like, how much authority does a hat really have? Never mind. This place is crazy. I never thought I'd go to school in a castle. Pretty cool. I've never really liked school. People are mean to me. I'm talking too much. You probably have all your own nervous thoughts going on. Can I tell you something? I think I might be special. I watch a lot of movies and read a lot of books and it's like a normal boy finds out he actually has amazing abilities and sort the way to a new, magical world. Does that sound familiar? Because that is now my actual life. And that kid, through some incredible circumstances, always becomes like the most important person. Like, in the whole world. A sort of chosen one. <laughs> Magic is real. And this boy wizard is ready for seven years of amazing adventures. Mr. Potter? Oh, excuse me! <laughs> Brave. Oh, look, it's another one. Uh, student. Wayne Hopkins? Yeah, sure. Come on, then. Meh. Somewhere near the kitchens. Welcome to what I like to call 
Year one, the pus and the sorcerer's attempt at earning points and making friends. <laughs> Guys, guess what? We're all wizards! Yeah. Hey, we should all introduce ourselves. <coughs> I'm Jean Finch Fletchley, and I'm Quish and Fun. Hi! I'm Susie Bones. Once upon a time, my entire family was murdered. Except my aunt. Hi! Hi. I'm Wayne. I've read the Sumerian twice. Hi. Hi! My name is Sally Perks, and I go to this school! Hi! Who's that? It's me, Ernie Mack. I'm basically the best. So hi. Hi! Who's that? It's me, Hannah. I'm Hannah. Hi! I was raised in a cabin by my grandparents, and you're the first other children I've ever seen. Oh, and I'm a wizard. And my name is Leanne. Hi. Um, all over rivers, and I'm just here to keep my head down and get a fundamental understanding of wizarding basics. Hi! Um, Megan Jones. Yep, that's right. Just so we're clear, I'm not like you. Any of you. So, leave me alone. Hi! And my name is Cedric! <laughs> Thanks! Now gather round, don't be shy, welcome to the Puffs! Hi! Just a few things to get you acquainted with the school. First, the stairs move. Don't freak out, just breathe. Second, the puffs don't exactly have the best reputation here. People will make jokes about you, or throw food at you, or they might curse you. In fact, here's a list of curses you can expect to be hit by at some time in the next week. But none of that really matters, because really we're all just a bunch of nice, fun, happy people. Also badgers. Badgers are great. That being said, there is something very important we need to discuss. What do you think the most important part of magic school is? Learning magic? Wrong! The house cup. Here, you can earn points for doing something right and lose them for doing something wrong. The puffs have come in last place for the house cup forever. But this year, we're going to change that. This year, we're going to win! Or we're going to get second! Or we're going to get third. Third or nothing. Third or nothing. Third or nothing. Whoever wins the most points, they be a real hero. Me? Maybe. Well, I'm off to bed. Well, if Cedric's off to bed, then I'm off to bed too. Gee, bitch. Oh. <laughs> so it's official. The next seven years are gonna suck. Can you believe this group of Dingbats. I think everyone seems nice. You're talking to me. You're not running away. Why would we do that? Everyone knows my mom worked for you know who. Who? who? The Dark Lord. Who? who? Whatever, the guy was a super evil wizard. There, there are evil, evil wizards? wizards? Yep, and my mom was one of his most feared followers. I warn you, I'm just as awesome and scary as she is. Megan! 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 Oh, Megan! <laughs> Our beds are stacked on top of each other magically. It's a bunk bed. We're wizards! I'm gonna go hang out with the snakes where I belong. You can't leave, you might lose points. Watch me! So, are you new to all this too? Yep, all of it. My family moved to England back in May, so they'd be closer to me when I started at the Mathematical Institute at Oxford this semester. But you're 11. Oh, I know. I've sort of been called a math savant, but that's not important now. Now I'm just a wizard, a beginner-level wizard, 
You don't think ending up here means we're already bad at wizarding, right? I'm not used to being bad at school. We just have to focus on earning those points, and the rest will take care of itself. I mean, it's just magic. How hard can it be? Sit, everyone, now. You're here to learn the art of potion make. Oh, puffs. Hi! Can anyone tell me what is a potion? Ooh, it's the stuff you put on your skin to make it feel soft. <laughs> no, that's lotion. Ooh, ooh, it's the place where all the fishes live. Wrong, that's the ocean. Oh, oh, oh! It's that dance where everyone is a train. Choo-choo! That's the locomotion. <laughs> it is, uh, magic liquid? You are the most dunderheaded student I've ever seen sit in my class. If you manage to pass my course this year, I will eat a shoe. Ten points from the puffs. You know, I eat a shoe once. It didn't taste good, but it didn't taste bad. Class dismissed. Transfiguration, the art of... Oh. Puffs. Hi! Yes, hello. Um, this year we are going to turn things into other things. Wow, go crazy. <laughs> Mr. Rivers, oh dear, your wand technique is all wrong. Here, you get to use the training wand. Ooh. <clears throat> Five points from the puffs. Uh, where did that voice come from? Uh, t t ten points from the puffs. Is there a math class? Please tell me next is math class. We have something called herbology. You know, I don't know if that's scary. Class, we're gonna look at plants. Yay, plants! <laughs> Okay, I will admit, with the exception of herbology, which is awesome, this isn't easy. Yeah, maybe we should just, I don't know, go sit in our rooms and hide for seven years so we can't lose any more points. Come on, it's just the first day, and next we have our first flying lessons. Right after the Braves, you are going now. If you want so bad, you'll have to catch it. I did it! I caught the balls here! I did it! Potter, what a fluttering whippersnap. Potter, you took broom heads with you. more festive. Ooh, it's the Halloween feast. Jay Finch approves. <laughs> Oliver, where have you been? Sorry, I've been practicing charms, but I think I've got back, relax, and hope nothing bad happens. I know that, Ron, but she doesn't 
go save her. Meanwhile, in the puff common room. Please get our friend. Please get our friend. It's gonna kill us all. Somebody tell me it must be my long lost twin sister? Oh, I get it. They were bullying me. Jay Finch is too young to die. This will be the only time our lives will ever be in danger here. Ever. Now, I'm off to bed. Wait, Oliver. Megan's not here. Oh no! Does she need to be saved or something? No. What if she's out there losing points? We have to stop her. I'm sorry. We? It's up to Oliver to protect these points. This is it, Oliver. The points are how we become heroes. Let's go. Wow, that corridor was full of some horrifying stuff. Oh, I get it. That's why it's forbidden. Whoa, weird mirror. Whoa, demon mirror. Boom! Hey, I've told you not to sneak up on me like that. Hello, fat fryer. Megan, you can just say fryer. Anyways, what are you doing alone on Halloween? Shouldn't you be with your friends? Friends? You're the only person who ever talks to me. Oh my wizard god, I just realized how pathetic that is. Self-esteem! It's just like, come on mom, break out of wizard prison already and come and rescue me from this hellhole, please. I wonder what she's doing. I'd like to take this moment to formally introduce you to Xavier Jones. A puff, a dark wizard. They say the few that have crossed her path have lived to tell the tale. I mean, look at her. She looks pretty crazy. Luckily for us, she's locked away in an inescapable wizard prison and will probably never get out. Probably. Want to play a game of whiz checkers? Maybe those two sneaky boys would like to join. Run for your life! Get out of here now! So you followed me, Hopkins? Spying on me? Trying to learn my dark evil secrets? No, we were just trying to find you. To protect you from the troll. And to make sure you didn't lose any more. Do I look like I need protecting from the two of you? Wait, a troll? Where? I want it. As a pet. Megan, this is why you don't have any friends. Shut up, fatty. Self-esteem. These two are going to get what they deserve. I wonder what my mom would do in a situation like this. I think she'd torture you. Prepare to meet your doom. Wait, wait. What if instead of torturing us, we all just Hung out like friends. Yeah, well, go for it. Look, we're all kind of the worst people at the school. Why not be the worst together? Megan shouldn't have to be alone just because her mom was evil. And hey, I think it's cool that you hang out with Mr. Fryer. Hey, Mr. Fryer, I like it. Right, Oliver? Yeah, we can all hang out. That Fryer, too. <gasps> Self esteem. You promise this isn't a joke? I promise. Us puffs have to stick together. I am not a puff. The hat got it wrong. I'm the most not puffiest person you'll ever meet. Got it? Got it. Got it. Now, how about letting us go? I guess. I don't be friends. Is that how this works? I don't really have friends. Sure. Great. Glad we settled that. Now we should probably get out of here. If we get caught, we'll lose so many points. Students learning what the troll's about? The plan be so disappointed. Uh, wait. I was hunting the troll so I could shove my wand up its nose and, I don't know, murder it. <laughs> but these two friends taught me the error of my ways. Guys, I think this is the start of something really great. Whoa, weird mirror. Yes, a weird mirror with the power to show the greatest desire of the onlooker's heart. One must wonder what these three would see whilst looking at it. <coughs> wow, I'm being handed a medal. I saved all the wizards. I'm a hero. I'm the hero. 
I've officially made the pubs the coolest, most important house forever. And I have a lightsaber. I finally do it. A brand new theorem that makes differential calculus look like trigonometry for dumb dumbs. Awesome. I I don't see anything. That's weird. Are you sure? I don't want to cut this moment short, but we should probably get out of here. Yeah. What do you think that mirror is? Maybe it shows our future. That must be our future. We're going to be so cool. What exactly did Miss Jones see in her reflection? Well, it's my mom. She wants to go somewhere far away, just us. The future, huh? All right. How did this stone get in here? I, uh, sadly am obligated to inform you that this was not the only lifelong friendship forged on October 31st, 1991. Well, you two, it looks like you're going to be real good mates forever. We get it. Some people. Guardia of Leviosa. It's Olive Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> we're moving up. I think we're finally gonna do it this year. Third place. Hey Cedric, third place. <laughs> Cedric thinks I'm cool. I feel like I can do anything right now. Lumos. I guess I'll go watch this work. Accomplishments. A chess game? Logic? Your nerve? Standing up to friends? So it seems we need a change of decoration. <laughs> oh, me. Hey, don't be sad. This year we learned skills, built friendships, and nobody died except that teacher. What a uh, year. You can't put a number on life unless you can. In which case, it's four. Fourth place for us. But hey, we're wizards. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> and that was the class of 98's first year of magic school. Now, year two. <sighs> Second year, you're older, you're wiser, you're ready for a safe, fun year. Nope. Welcome to year two. The pus and the ancient giant snake that began attacking students the same year it was discovered a certain other student could talk to snakes. Not yet. First, schoolwork. <coughs>
and brought it with a nasty surprise. A secret chamber has been opened. There's a monster. There's a message written in blood. It's the coolest thing ever. Also, I'm into books now. Naturally, less people were excited about this. I am so not excited about this. It's my duty to make sure you're all educated, so who wants to come to the killing club? Unfortunately, this is not what the rest of the school heard. This is. Harry tried to kill me. I never got to eat. I never got to eat all the flavored beans. Justin, we'll keep you safe. Just promise me you won't leave this common room. Promise us all you won't leave. I promise. Well, bye. Bye! <laughs> Let's all go to bed. <laughs> Jay. Around, finch in the halls, finch all by himself. Okay, oh, yeah. hi. Hi, Mr. Nick. Hello, Justin. Uh-oh, better get out of here before someone sees me. Ah! <laughs> Nobody understands Harry. <laughs> We'll get you finching around again in no time. <laughs> it got you. We have to be careful. I know you be looking around every corner. And if all the books I've been reading mean anything, there is definitely a monster and it's out to kill everyone. It's super cool. I mean, meritorious. I'm into books now. This is a lot for 12 year olds to handle. Well, the adults aren't helping, so obviously it must fall to me to find this monster, defeat Potter, go down in history as a hero of the school. I'm not sure you're qualified for any of that. I'll win an award. Megan, take all of her to safety. It's definitely coming for him next. What? It's after Mugborns. You're a Mugborn, which means you're next. Oh my wizard god, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Wow, it's gonna be a fun year. Wayne, if I get petrified, just make sure I'm in a dignified position. 
Okay, this must be it. The thing I'm supposed to do to make that magic future mirror reflection of my awesome future self, my actual future. That's gotta go, monster. How are it gonna be? I can find it in myself. My inner Robocop, my spiritual John. Yeah. Hey, monster, huff on this. Pew, pew. Oh! Sorry, my fault. Oh, I just. Hi, I'm Wayne. <laughs> Bad, why don't you just put it somewhere and no one will find it? Like a toilet or something. <laughs> toilet? Maybe. Thanks, Win. Ah, I'm in love. <laughs> as soon as I become the hero of the school, that girl's gonna marry me. This is really my year. <laughs> Students, gather around. Yes, yes. I just want to reaffirm to you all that even in the face of great danger, the doors of this school will always remain open. Never mind, a redhead has been kidnapped. School's canceled forever. Go home. Yes, forget books. Goodbye forever, dum-dums. Never mind, the monster is dead. Now let's hear a big Round of applause for the boy who bought it alone, Mr. Potter. Not completely alone. Ron helped. I'm the hero of the school. Yes, yes. Now, you all know I don't pick favorites. But Harry, he's my favorite. Now, please, I would like to take a moment of silence for my pet bird who tragically died. Never mind, he's alive again. Exams are canceled. See you next year. and our trio was determined to keep in touch the old-fashioned way by writing two copies of the same letter and sending them by owl across the world. Dear Megan and Oliver, this new movie just came out. It's called Free Willy. It's about a young boy's adventure to free a whale. It was amazing. I can't stop thinking about how adventures come in all shapes and sizes. I know mine is coming. I just have to find my own whale. Wait, P.S. How does this owl know where to go? Wait. Yeah, sure. See you next year, Oliver. Uncle Xavier, there is an owl in my living room. <laughs> Birds. <laughs> Wayne, Oliver, Wayne's uncle, Willie's? Whatever, big news. A mass murderer broke out of wizard prison. What if my mom sent him after me to rescue me from that stupid school? I have a feeling this year, Things are going to be really serious. <laughs> P.S. The guy's name is Serious. <laughs> A murder on the loose? Rut row. But not to worry. With government safety measures have been put into effect. Something that will make the children feel safe. Very safe. Here, you in the front. Take these. It's magic chocolate, a Hershey's kiss. It'll make you feel happy again. You in the back? Your side forever. <laughs> Safety is in the name of the game in year three. The puffs in pajamas because a mass murderer got into the school. I'm telling you guys, the headmaster looks different this year. Oliver, I'm a little more worried about the murderer coming to our school. Megan, what if he's not coming here to rescue you? What if he's coming here to murder someone? 
No, he's definitely coming to rescue me. It'll be a super huge deal because this year I'm spending my time with the Briggs. And everything notable that happens, happens to them. Like this guy. If you need me, we will be out there being both rebellious and charming. And brave. slipper party. It's in the great hall. On the floor. But I warn you. I snore. Wanna see? Leanne? Oh, sorry. I had a dream where I was a unicorn. Only I didn't have a horn. I was a hey. Uh, sorry, I've got a lot going on. Ooh, cans, I think. Oh, everyone's busy. Oh, what's this? Hi, Hi Sally. Sally. Oh, you boys are having a slumber party? Ooh! Hi, Sally. I guess I'll be seeing you boys around. <laughs> in their third year, students are allowed to pick electives enthralling subjects such as about wrong. And so, the school's off to an eventful, yet safe start. But that would all change on, you guessed it, Halloween. Attention, students! The murderer is in the building. He attacked the fortress, and then left. Report to the Great Hall. I said now! You guys! The whole school, oh, the whole school came to my slumber party! That poor painting. That poor painting. Guys, somebody told me that the murderer is only going after pretty girls, so I don't have to worry. Oh, I get it. They were bullying me. I've been told to inform you that it looks like we'll be spending the whole night here. Aww. But hey, how about a story to help you get to sleep? Maybe a story about the puffs? Hmm. There is the story of Helga, the first puff. That's a pretty cool story. 
All right then. Once upon a time, a professional, we'll take it from here, from the tragic yet rewarding history of the pots, chapter two. There once lived an excellent cook who also happened to be a witch. Her name was Helga. Anyone seen my cup? It's a nice cup, I hope pageant. She could often be found hanging out with her special friends. Anyone mention bravery in passing? <laughs> we all have this wonderful knowledge. Why don't we? And so they magicked a school into existence, but they were left with an important question left to answer. What type of students would they admit? Students who are brave! Students whom are smart. Blonde, rich, sassy children. <laughs> She couldn't come up with anything, so they just gave her all the dumb kids. The pups. The end. Worst slumber party ever. Megan, are, are you alright? I never wanted to be a puff. Every member of my family, puffs, were like the puff family. But I've always known that I was different. There's nothing even special about pups. Loyalty, being really nice. A bunch of lame, awful failures, doomed to be stupid, walking, personalityless nobodies that no one will ever care about, ever. My mom was a puff, but she was different. She became something bigger. She made the name Jones finally mean something other than a bunch of puffs. I thought, no, I knew I'd be different too. But after all my hard work to make myself not a puff, what do you know? The hat puts me with the puffs. I did everything just so I wouldn't be like my pop family. Oh, it's not fair. Well, I for one am happy you were not kidnapped by a mass murderer. Or rescued. And I'd like to think you've met at least two pups who are kind of okay. Maybe, I guess. Sorry to bring the mood down. Sorry to make things so serious. She's not coming here, ever. Feel the need to hug. I'll tell him on. I'm coming in. <gasps> Why are we hugging? Wait, don't tell me. I'll figure it out. <sighs> hey everyone, I'm sorry I was mean. You're not stupid. That's okay, right? Puff hug. Fine. Huff hug. Yay! Puff hug! <laughs> Attention, students! You're all safe. Uh, we think. Don't forget, tomorrow you have a field trip in the town. Have fun! Yay! Field trip! I hear he can turn into a flowery shrub. It's true. <laughs> hey guys, I heard our new teacher. He's aware, aware. Aware of what? <laughs> I never want to sleep again. 
Japheth has slept enough for a lifetime. I know how you feel. Life is a nightmare. Yeah. starting soon, and you can forget about death for a while. All of it. Yes, back to school, where nothing dangerous ever happens. Attention students! Same headmaster here. This year, we will be hosting two other wizarding schools. One with French people, Bonjour, je suis très supérieur. Baguette? And the Draco Strang Institute. They are very intimidating and they break dance. <laughs> and I cannot be defeated! Every time! He dies! They will be competing against one of you in a very dangerous wizarding tournament. If you wish to participate, put your name in this cup. We'll draw names on Halloween. It only gets more exciting in year four, the puffs, and the year they mattered. It's Halloween! Let's find out who our competitors will be. Whoever it is, we're stuck focusing on them for the entire year. If this school has taught me anything, we're going to be disappointed. Ow! Hot! Fire! Mr. Diggory? The big thing I've been waiting for. This is our turn in the limelight. This year is all about the puffs, and no one can take that from us. Ow! Hot! Fire! Uh, again. Mr. Potter? <gasps> Mr. Potter? Uh-oh. what I get into this time? <laughs> Never mind that. We have a job to do. We have to make sure the right winner wins. Potter had his turn. Cedric is our champion. Cedric! Great. Let's go make some badges. Badges! Wait! I'm president of the Mug Studies Club, and I was hoping some of you would maybe join. Ron! No, I didn't, Ron! Always oh, having to think, Ron! Well, fine, Ron! I guess we're not friends. Not anymore. <laughs> hey, I'm sure you two are going to be okay. Whoa, okay, calm, calm down. Hey, there's no need to yell at me. Whoa, that is too far. You can bloody whatever yourself. You know, you look like a messed up version of my owl. <laughs>
I am your biggest fan. I read all about you, and I have a picture of you over my wall, and over my bed, and over all the pictures of the family in my house. And if you're there, how are you here? Anyways, I met you when I was four, and you said if I ever saw you again to say this to you, sneaker beakers.
Go after the nice doggy. Eat the nice doggy. Oh my God! The dragon's from the house dog. There's now a dead dog on the field. The dragon's from the center. Then it's on fire. Do not be confused by the tone of my voice. He is literally on fire. And he's got the edge. <laughs> Now that the highly dangerous first task was done, the time had come for something truly terrifying. A school dance. Okay. A school dance? No, not going. We have to, to support Cedric. But a school dance. We have to find dates. Who would want to go with us? I mean, I have one person in mind. Go for it! What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Ginny, Ginny. I... Will you go to the hole? Shut up. Hi, Wayne. Yikes. If it makes you feel better, that long bottom kid, he's ugly. And he'll probably stay ugly. Forever. <laughs> Wild truth. That doesn't help me find a date to the ball. Look, how about this? Forget her, forget nerves, and just ask the next, next person you see. Okay. <laughs> hi, guys. Leanne, hi. Wayne here has a question. A question? What's a question? <laughs> it's what you literally... Wayne? Leanne, has anybody asked you to the ball yet? Just my imaginary friend, Jay Finch Fletchley, but I said no, because, well, he's imaginary. <laughs> um, well, would you like to go with me? <gasps> sure, I'll go get ready. It's still like a week of... Now you have to ask the next person you see. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Megan, you definitely don't have a date, right? Not how I would have started that. <laughs> well, we could go, you know, together. Better you than some other loser, I guess. Better than Mr. Imaginary. <laughs> Jay Fitch doesn't exist. Jay Fitch can go wherever he wants. <laughs> Great. We're all people with dates. Yeah. yeah. Dates. dates. I'm not. I wanted to ask Joe, but I'm so embarrassed. Uh, bye, Wayne. Hurry. Say, remember you two? I talked to a spider. He was really mean, though. He tried to eat me. Then a car saved me. Wow. Fun times for all of us, right? Finally, Cedric, I talked to Spider. No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> hey, Cedric. Congratulations on the first test. Thanks, Wayne. Up top. Um, so, do you have a date to the ball yet? No, I'm more preoccupied with figuring out this golden egg. I've done everything. I tried opening it. Is that it? Yep, it just screams. Watch. Wait, maybe it's a riddle. 
I used to write the riddle books in the bath. Oh, uh, bathtub? Did that really help? All right then, bathtub it is. Thanks, real Mr. Moody. Thanks, Wayne. Oh, hey, Cedric. I hear Cho is interested, interested in going to the ball with you. You should ask her. Hmm. Sure, why not? Thanks, mate. <laughs> mate, you made a pasture eventually. I just helped. I helped. Anyway, it's time for the ball. DJ! I mean, it was a mother-son dance. Everyone was there with their moms. You are such a loser. <laughs> Never mind. You, you look nice. Well, I try. I actually try. This is your fault. I mean, this year it's been nice to well, this year you've been yourself, and you're neat. Real neato. Thanks. Don't you dare tell anyone I accepted that compliment. I won't. Ow. Should we just, let's, I mean, I'm not your mom, but. <laughs> that was, was a very short. Hey everyone, let's show them at the Puffs party. Puffs emergency formation seven. Puffs. Roll call. Cedric. Woo! Turning back. Yeah! <laughs> See both. Hannah. Wait. Shark, very nice. 
I went for me! For me! And while he should have give, been given third place, the judges decided to award Harry second because he was nice to French people. Say that. <laughs> this tied him in first overall with none other than Cedric! 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 The third task was months away, and everyone collect collectively remembered, oh yeah, this is school. Maybe we should study. <laughs> Osseo Book, Osseo Book, come here, Book, please, yo. Ugh, I hate you, Book. You're the worst book. You suck, Book. Are we yelling at books? Hey, Book, you're dumb. Ha, that is fun. <laughs> no, just trying to summon it. Ah, year four, pretty difficult test. Osseo Book. Oh, yeah. Huh, a tragic yet rewarding history of the past. You make it look so easy. Try again. Osseo Book. You want to know what the best part about being a pup is, besides being so close to the kitchens? You fail a lot. You fail and fail. You fail over here, you fail over there, and then you fail a lot more. But failure wins. It's just another form of practice, as long as you never stop trying. So, try again. Osseo Book. Eventually, you get better. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. It can help you whenever you're feeling, well, like a failure. It certainly helped me. Huh, I'll need it. I suck at magic. Here, to thank you for all your support, after the third task is done, I'll teach you everything I know. <laughs> Really? I'd be happy to. Wow. We'll be like the wizard Batman and Robin. Batman? He's a... What's from a thing? Which half is the bat? <laughs> Don't worry. All right, well, I better get going. Hey, Cedric, come catch on the, on the um, second task. I'll be fine. Ha, take that, book. It was a warm June evening. The third task was well underway, and the crowd sat with bated breath. It had come down to two. That night, one would become a champion, and the other, the other would lose. Come on, it's been hours. How hard is it to get through a maze? Very hard. You know what? Who wants to hear a riddle? What has eight legs? Guess what? It's a spider. Everyone, quiet! I want to be able to remember the exact moment Cedric comes out of that maze. And so, a very eventful fourth year came to an eventful conclusion. 
conclusion. Here, you and the take these puff brand souvenir tissues. Wipe away your tears. You in the back, still sad forever. But not to worry, everyone will rediscover happiness and joy in year five. Oh dear, Mr. God. The puffs and the year we will get through very quickly. Everyone, we're all still alive. Now, me and Ernie here are prefects this year. Our number one rule is no being too sad. Yeah. My aunt and I stared at the door waiting, waiting for the Dark Lord to arrive, to kill my aunt, to kill me. Death waits. It stalks me. I went to the water park. I'm just happy to be here with all of you, my friends. Feelings. Jake Mitch approved. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Hi. Hi. Shut up. Shut up. Just thought I'd offer some words of wisdom to all the new puffs joining us. Guess what? We suck. We're the puffs. We're just here to die. There's no chosen puff hiding among us. And if there was, they'd probably just die. So enjoy your short, meaningless lives. Oh, oh. Also, apparently, we don't have to wear uniforms anymore. You can just wear regular clothes. So enjoy it while you can. So, he probably just needs some time? Yeah, I mean, how long can one person be an angsty jerk? One word, emotions. Year five and two words, secret meetings. Even some of our pops were invited to join in. Man, these AA meetings are great. Albus's army, the AA. We must learn to protect ourselves. I was just so happy to be included. I'm in this group, right? Harry's looking over this way. Let's practice our stunning spells. I'll do something. Me first. No way. Okay. Three, two, one. Stupefy! <laughs> I think we stunned each other. You mean we did the spell? Right? And suddenly, it was May. After some standardized testing, it was time to go home. Hey, how'd, how'd you, you do? do? May I be okay? Yeah, I think we actually made progress this year. Yeah, we should study together all the time. Okay, yeah, no. But you know what? I think we got through a whole year without some sort of horrible event or tragedy. It's like I almost feel 
I'm coming in. Aw, oh, everything's back to normal. Oh no, he whose name we can't say is definitely back. They Harry fought him. Again. Nobody is safe! Ah! Yep, back to normal. <laughs> A mistake of national terror. Year five, was dead. The world was changing. Nobody was safe. Wand makers, bridges, no one. For the Dark Lord had returned. Yes, excellent. The blood lines of wizard kind shall be purified. The muddy filth that has lashed on to our race shall be expunged. And standing upon the precipice as a shining example of power and might will be me. Ah! <laughs> now, my death buddies, fetch me my broom. Oh, um, we don't actually need our brooms to fly. We just can't. Yeah. Good to know. For this information, you shall be rewarded with a show of affection from me. <laughs> Everyone, leave. You, stay. You still wish to go on your special excursion? Yes, my lord. You will remain unseen. You will kill anyone who gets in your way. I will, my lord. And if the girl should refuse? I know what I must do, my lord. Yes. Welcome back, Mrs. Jones. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it looks like Megan's mother is on a mission in. Gear six, Puffs, the mummy returns. <laughs> Astronomy, poor. Herbology, outstanding. outstanding. Obviously, herbology is awesome. Defense, troll, yikes. Wayne, this year we've got to get you a lady friend. Huh, yeah, let's get right on that. You could always date Susie Bones. I hear she's single. My aunt was murdered! Any second now, I'll be dead! <laughs> out for the sports team? No. What? I was just thinking about it. I've been so set on doing some sort of big, crazy, wizard world changing thing that I haven't had any time to do any regular teenage stuff. This year, no crazy adventures, no wizard shenanigans. This year, I'm just focusing on dates and sports. <laughs> All right, losers. Zach Smith here. Hey! You! Hate you! Leave now! Flubberworms want to play some sports, aka meet some hot ladies, because that's the only reason to play. All right. Before we get started, I'd just share something that's been happening to me. Get off my chest. See, we all know that spell thing we can do where a little white animal jumps out and scampers around. And those weird security guard weebs should hate it. They hate those animals. You know, they say it's supposed to represent something about you, answer a lot of important questions. So, after years of hard work, practice, which is important, I did it. I did the spell. Turns out my little animal thing isn't quite an animal. Turns out my animal is actually a 45-year-old accountant named Deborah who lives in a small town in Oklahoma as a single mom to her two kids. So it's just so inconvenienced every time I use that spell. She's just here now. I don't know how to get her home. 
She has to book a flight or take a boat. Getting to those is a journey in itself, you know, because we're in a secret magic school in Europe in the middle of nowhere. I think she's running out of money, which usually she's very good with, and I can't help but feel like a tiny bit responsible, you know? But here's where the story takes a twist. I think I'm falling in love with her. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Do I tell her how I feel? I keep bringing her back here just to see her. That makes her mad. I know I may just be a 16-year-old boy who's also a wizard, and she's 45 and has her own life. But I think there's something really special here. <laughs> anyway, let's start these tryouts. Stop, stop, stop. You, right there. You made the team. Really? No, I got you. You got got. Everyone else, you're on the team. Really? No, you also got got. This is a one-man team, Zach Smith. <laughs> Wayne. Hey, I thought you played pretty well out there. Oh yeah, you know. It's whatever. <laughs> I do know. I go to the school. Well, bye. Wait, Sally, would you like to go out on a date sometime? Sure. All right, a date with a girl. Oh no, a date with a girl. Oliver, where the heck are you? Meet on the third floor corridor, formerly out of bounds for anyone who didn't want to die a super painful death. Jeez, remember that? This school, dangerous for children. Oliver! Afraid. Who are you? It's me, Megan, your mother. Imperion! I think you'll be coming with me, darling. <laughs> Here, give me your wand. Let's see how I can handle this situation, shall we? Spoiler alert, not well. <laughs> Megan, what's going on? It's my mom. She's out of whispers, and she's just as awesome as I always believed. I think we're in real danger. She took my wand. Oh, she stole my wand, too. Awesome! Ah, hi! 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 Wayne? I'm sorry, Hat. I interrupted a thing. <laughs> Hello, children. Oh, look, another one. Hello there. Megan, dear, it's been such a long time. Oh, um, hi. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Dreamt of this moment for like so long, and you're actually here. And I'm Megan, your daughter, and a fan. Why, thank you, dear. A thought. Now that I'm free, I think it's time I take you far away from here. Just us. That's pretty much all I've ever wanted. Oh, good. But oh no, we have a problem. I've been watching you, Megan. These two are your friends? How? Why? Why? I'm disappointed in you, Megan. Disappointed in you. What did I do? Nothing, Megan. You did nothing. I've come all this way, and what I see standing before me, I see a pup. No! That's all you are, isn't it? Stop! You're just another pup! No! Yes. You're nothing like me. How disappointing. I am not a pup! Oh, good. Prove it. I want you to hurt them. Torture them. Kill them, maybe. Prove to me that you're my daughter. Go on. Do it. And then we can leave. Just us. Just like you always wanted. I... I won't. Fine, you disappoint me again. I will do what I must. Avada Kababa! Avada Kaduber! Avada Ka... I'm sorry, have you done this before? Oh, I've done it. Maybe. Don't look at me like that. The Dark Lord himself recruited me. I will show you that fateful day. Flashback goes to October 1981. It's 1981 and you're looking at the Dark Lord's Blood Boogie Dance Dance. If you love the Dark Lord, say yeah! Yeah! Join your evil army, please! Uh, yeah. Whoa, retie too. Awesome. Uh, 
Whoa, not Lady Diebel. That's what we all should think about her. Great, now, I don't know. <laughs> Flashback managed. See, I'm awesome. Now, a lot of release so. Okay, so what I just did is I let you go. Oh my wizard god. You're just you're just a pup. Hi! Never! You're you're just a pup. No! Uh Avodica psh, psh, curses. No, pups are lame, failures, a bunch of dumb, stupid failures. And that's the best thing about being a pup, besides being so close to the kitchen. What? <laughs> Follow me here. Pups are actually awesome and always have been. We're the mighty ducks of wizards. No, the mighty ducks too of wizards. <laughs> Cedric knew it, and maybe even Helga knew it when she was choosing students. We never got to finish that story. Maybe we can now. Osseo book. Osseo book. Wayne. Osseo book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. The tragic yet rewarding history of the puffs. Okay. The time had come for the founders to choose students. Students who are brave! Students whom are smart. Kids who tell you they have something cool to show you and they make you walk miles and miles in the dark and beat these scary boards and push you into the dirt and laugh in your face. Those kind of things. <laughs> students who are... I'll take the rest of them. Because as long as they're willing to work hard, everybody should have a place here. Sure, the skill levels will be all over the place, but that's okay. There's always room to improve. This is a school, right? So sure, being brave or smart or spanked is great, but why be one thing when you can be everything else? Yes? Yes. Now, where did my cup get off to? Cup? Cup? So you see Megan's mom. Puffs are failures. We'll try and fight you, and we'll probably fail. We'll fail big time. We'll fail so hard. Wayne, I don't know where this is going. But eventually, we get better. Osseo want. 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 Hey, what are those is mine? No, this can't be happening. You're all just stupid puffs. Oh, yeah? Obvious force. Ah! Go back to what's his name that we try not to say. Get out of here. This is not the last of me. I will be back. <laughs> we did something. Yeah, everyone's definitely going to hear about this. Megan, are you all right? That was a lot to take in. I'm coming in. Whoa, weird mirror. Yes, the very same weird mirror stood. Its purpose, unchanged. To show its onlooker their greatest desire. But that's the funny thing about desires. They change. And whereas once these three saw images of grandeur or lifelong fantasy, they now just saw this. Three friends together. And one of them has a lightsaber. <laughs> Aww. Taking their life threatening experience and true test of friendship to heart. Our trio spent the remainder of a relatively calm year to really practice their magic. Three, two, one. Ribeiro! All right, we fixed these glasses I was holding. <coughs> We've officially done it. We have mastered all spells up to grade three. Hey, maybe unrelated, but has there always been a giant skull in the sky? That could mean anything. The headmaster is dead! Ah! Ah! For some, the death of the headmaster came as a shock. For others, it was proof that evil had finally triumphed. And for everyone, it meant one very impressively thrown together funeral. Summer arrived. Fearing interception of their letters, the three decided to try another magical means of communication. Hey guys. Thanks for using AOL Instant Messenger. I think it will significantly to speed up communication. Not a wizard, 1997. Yep, definitely safer. Math magician, 314159. What is this? Ah! Verbal Princess, 2000. So, 
Any new updates? I hear things are getting pretty bad out there. Things are getting dark. And the rumor is the ministry has started to go after mug boards. It's true. And it means I won't be going back to school. What? What? I have to go on the run to protect my family. I wipe their memories, or I try to. Instead, I turn their heads into oranges, <laughs> which we'll have to do. Megan, you're the world to me. Wayne, you are too. Try not to get into too much trouble. Year seven, who lives, who dies? What crazy new characters join us? To find out in the final year, the puffs and the time Harry came back and caused a war at school. So this year's been interesting. Yeah, they've thrown any attempt at actually giving us an education out the window. Yesterday in defense class, they just tortured a kid for three hours. Hello, Mr. Wayne Hopkinson. Megan Jones, I am Bibby, and I am your new house friend. I got so much to do with you. I am Bibby, and I am your best friend. We have been together till the very end. Bibby, Bibby, you'll say Bibby. Take picture of your new best friend. Christmas 2, 26. Uh, no, 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 Bibby, we uh have a job for you. We need you to run. Just keep running until we tell you to stop. Oliver's so lucky. He doesn't have to deal with any of this. Have you heard from him? No. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. On the bright side, Potter was the cause of most of our problems, so as long as he stays gone. Harry's back! He went. He's here to start a revolution. He went camping! To, to the, the Great Hall! hall. In that moment, a snake girl cried out, grab him, and the pus reacted accordingly. Oh, I see what we're doing now. And upon being told to leave the Great Hall for evacuation, it was a puff who stood up first. What if we want to stay and fight? Before we make any decisions, can we get just like one minute? All right, I'm off to find a tiara. <laughs> This is crazy. People might die. We all might die. 
Anyone who stays needs to understand that. Why would they need us? Everyone here says we're the worst at the school. Herbology. Well, which is the best? Yeah. I'll most definitely die if I might. It would be easier to just leave. No! I don't want to leave! Why is everyone always so down on us? I won't stand for it anymore. And I won't sit for it either. And I also won't stand on one leg because I can't. What? Anyways. Look at your hands. You have a wand. Look at yourselves. Hannah. You used to be so awkward. You still are. We don't mind it anymore. And who's that? It's Ernie Mac, and he's basically the best. Sally, remember the time you did that thing. I do. It Susie, we all thought you'd be dead by now. <laughs> but look at you standing alive. Wayne, you give the best hugs. Megan, you give Ben your hugs and thank you. And Jane Fitch, he's imaginary and he can do magic. So sure, it would be the easy thing to leave. But wouldn't it be wrong? We should do what's right, like Cedric. I'm a puff and I'm staying. Because if we don't fight now, we may never find out how the hat talks. I'm a puff and I'm staying. I'm a puff. I'm staying. I'm, I'm a, a puff, puff and, and I'm, I'm staying. staying. We might die. Are you all willing to die for Harry? We won't die for Harry. We'll die for each other. I'm a puff and I'm staying. I'll stay. And I'm a puff. I'm a puff. Look, my socks don't match. I struggle with reading. I was secretly a member of the Frog Choir. I'm a puff. Hi. 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 Okay. I'm gonna fight alongside the Braves and the Smarts, and not the Snakes, since they've been officially acknowledged as evil. Let's make sure we take down the bad guys. So then, third or nothing? No, first or nothing. First or nothing! I give up! <laughs> Shakily legs, huh? Get it? I was bullying you! Up on this! Yippee ki yay, mother puffer! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh no, it feels worse. <laughs> Mom, this is what your friends do to everyone. I don't like the way it feels. Oh God, I'm a pup. I get it, I'm a pup. Who would have thought the people in the hoods and masks could be so in the wrong? Fine, do it, kill me. The fate a murderer deserves. Yeah, so considering the one person you killed was evil, I don't think you'll get in too much trouble. Just say you were a spy or something. Oh. Super I want to get out, bro! Mom! Here, you take this. If we make it out of here, I owe you so many birthday presents. So, if you're imaginary, how come the bad people can see you? They must have special glasses. Then how can I see you? You must be special. Stupefy! <laughs> Looks like they just ordered a side of mac and fish. <laughs> Post emergency formation number 10. Headmaster? 
But you're, am I? I'm afraid that must be the case. What is this place? To be honest, I'm not really sure. It's, it's more of a thing for Harry. Of course it is. Headmaster, this, this seems really unfair. I just watched all my friends die. And now me? What was the point? I won't be remembered for anything. No one will know my name. I'll just be some unnamed dead kid in a school battle. Potter's battle. He gets to be the hero. He gets to be everything I ever wanted. Why do I have to be so unimportant? Wayne, it's very easy to feel like you're just a secondary character in someone else's grand story. That is not to say, however, that there is not another story out there that's all about you. The one where you're the most important person in the world. The hero? We're all important, Wayne. And we're all unimportant. We're all the hero, in some way, to someone. And as for your story, well, I think it was pretty cool. So you're saying there isn't some big surprise and open my eyes right where I died? Unfortunately not. I was finally good at magic. Wayne, there's only one magic we ever really need. The greatest magic there is. A magic that will let you live on. Love. <laughs> and on that note, I really hate to do this, but I, I am expecting so, yeah. <laughs> Headmaster, just one more thing. Did I really spend seven years at magic school just to find out that you believe love is the greatest magic there is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> See for yourself. Okay. And that is how Wayne Hopkins, student, died. You probably know the rest of the story. The boy who lived, lived again. He vanquished evil. <laughs> but now, you at least know a slightly different story. The story of the puffs. You know, I think eventually we all find that little part of us, the puff. Maybe it's there in the moments where you lose your keys, or momentarily forget how old you are. Or maybe it's the part of you that works hard. The part that remains loyal and true, despite whatever terrifying monsters are thrown your way. The part that plays fair, even when life is anything but. Maybe that's a puff there. Now, one last question. Where do I fit into all of this? You'll get that answer in our obligatory segment, 19 years later. Number. What's our number one rule? No time travel. That's my boy, young Scorpius. Holy wizard gizzards, Megan. You are not going to believe what Potter named his new kid. Wait, where's Raina? I thought you had her. Oh no, not this again. Did we leave her at my mom's? Raina, Raina, Mom, Dad. Mom, Dad, <laughs> I'm scared to go to school. I'll be honest with you, Raina. You should be. When we were there, if it wasn't an evil teacher, it was a giant snake. We're soul-sucking security guards. One year, there was a sports tournament. Someone died. But it'll be okay. Just remember, no matter if you're brave or smart or a blonde, rich, sassy child, or a puff, don't worry about it too much. It's just what some hat thinks. And hey, what's three times four? I don't know. That's okay. There's no math class. Still not bitter about that. <laughs> Just worry about the wizarding. But what if I'm bad at being a wizard? Daughter, you were named after someone who started out as one of the worst wizards ever. Now, you've got a train to catch. I like trains. <laughs> Ready for this? New kid's name? Albus Severus. I can beat it. Scorpius. No. Man, 
These people have no idea how to name children. Raina. Anyway, have you seen Potter recently? That new job has him really overworked. I feel bad for the guy. Him and his family, it's like he's cursed. It's like they're all cursed children. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm tired. Hey, what house do you think she'll get sorted into? I have a pretty good idea.